So we're going to be making fry bread and um, you need to have your flour, baking powder, salt and water. And usually you can do it at a room temperature warm water um, for it. And uh, you're going to have canola oil or vegetable oil or um, what is the other oil that we have? Just whatever oil that you'd like to utilize, not the virgin one, um, olive oil. So um, you're gonna put, uh, gonna preheat your your burner with the oil in there, probably medium to a little above medium to high uh, for that. And uh, we're gonna start the dough. So this one will make anywhere from 20 to 25 fry bread at a smaller size, not the size that you make for Indian tacos. If you wanna do Indian tacos, it'll probably do anywhere from 12 to 20. Um, so your flour is gonna be at six cups, six and a half cups. And this here is a two cup um, measuring cup. That's four, six, and a half. I usually I, I have an extra cup ready because sometimes your dough may be a little sticky and you need to get it a little um, together. So I'll have that on the side here. And for your uh, baking powder, I do anywhere from four to five tablespoons that are heaping. It gives it that, um, so it makes it more fluffier. The less you have, it's not gonna be as fluffy, it'll be flat. There's your flour and a half, almost five. And then you have your salt. You're not gonna really go on a tablespoon or a teaspoon. If you have your shaker, you shake it a couple times and that's all you have to do in there. Then you're gonna to have to sift it through so it's all mixed. And you can use your hands, you can use a uh, tablespoon, you can use um, a spatula here like this. Um, you get a wooden spoon, whatever you feel like utilizing. You're gonna get a res recipe from, um, that might be attached with whatever your food that's coming. Uh, they may use milk, they may use water, they may use yeast, they may use eggs, but uh, mine is just flour, baking powder, salt and water. It's your own discretion what you want to use. Um, and you're gonna have to kind of play with it too because um, sometimes the dough may be too hard because you've kneaded too much or may not have enough water or maybe too sticky, you might have to add flour. Uh, it, and then you, it depends on your mood too. If you're not in a good mood, you're angry, your, your fry bread ain't gonna turn out. So try to be calm and collect, it's no rush. And then the water, you kind of play with it. Uh, I'm gonna say anywhere from two to three cups for this, this batch here. Um, but just kind of, you put it in a circle, make a hole, work with it. If you need to add more water, you have it on the side and you mix everything in. And you kind of see it's coming together. I need more water in there, as you can see. And it's gonna be um, coming kind of, uh, it'll be a little sticky with flour. And then when you need, you'll feel the stickiness. As you feel that you need to put flour into it, you can. Uh, you don't wanna make it too dry either. All right, this one's a little sticky, so we're gonna add flour to this. 
and you just put a layer over top and work with it and then go from there. If you need more, then you'll add more. flour here because it's sticky. I'm going to knead in coming towards you four different ways as you can see in the bowl here. And usually when I um, do the dough here, uh, I preheat the oven or the top of the burner to about four or five, that's towards near high. Um, and I always do a tester fry bread to see if the grease is hot enough. And then my tester fry bread is usually a small little fry bread and we go from there. We'll let it sit for about a minute while I wash my hands and we'll get the dough going. So um, beforehand, I should have told you to have uh, a container ready for the fry bread. So when it's cooked, you um, can put it either on a tray, uh, a baking sheet with uh, napkins so that soaks up the grease. Also have tongs so that you can take out the fry bread. And um, so we're gonna, that could have been prepped beforehand, I'm sorry. Um, but usually I do a small little fry bread. This one's a little bit big, bigger. I do it smaller. And you can see, you kind of spread it out, get a, a chunk out. And then you put a hole in the middle. And then you put it in the grease to see if it'll, if it'll um, take it. So you can show here that it's not warm yet. So this one will take a little longer to cook. Uh, as soon as it starts going good, then I'll show you one that's gonna be going good and that'll be the end of the video after that. So on your dough, um, you're, when you're making the balls, sometimes it'll be a little bit of uh, sticky. What you do on top of your dough is put a little bit of loose flour so that it can make it so it's not so sticky. Uh, here you can see about the hand shape is what you're going to end up making your fry breads at. That'll be the size that you have with like with soup, the stew or soup or whatever or a sandwich. Um, if you're going to uh, want Indian tacos, you're probably going to go uh, quite a big uh, piece of dough and then spread it out as far as you can go. Um, and you don't play with it too much because it's going to end up um, going hard. It's like people would say with the hockey, hockey pucks. Um, also, when it starts to get a little smoky in here, you might want to do it beforehand is turn on your over overhead fan so that it collects all that smoke and that grease smell and stuff like that. Right now we're okay. Um, as the dough gets a little more, you're going to see that you're gonna to need to put that overhead fan on. You can see there's the small tester fry bread. I had to replace it because my grease wasn't warm enough. You'll see a little bit of bubbling on your grease or a little film. That's when you know it's kind of warm. That's why I always do a tester fry bread because you don't wanna waste your dough if you're making it for a group or a family or a number of people. So you use a small little piece of dough. 
And then uh, the same dough that you have for your fry bread, you can also do for your, um, your bannock, which goes into oven bread. And all you do is have your, um, your uh, cake sheet or tray, and you use either shortening or you can use um, the oil too, and you grease the bottom of the tray and on the sides. Usually you use a napkin or if you have rubber gloves and use it and you grease it all the way around. And then you put your dough in there and you spread it out as far as your um, tray is. And this usually makes a pretty good size. I think it's probably about a eight by 11. Is that a legal size piece of paper around that size is what size this will make. And what you do is you put it in the oven at 400 and you also um, flip it 20 minutes, one side 20 minutes, the other side 20 minutes. So it takes 40 minutes for it to cook. And if you're using shortening, you usually put shortening on top. So when you flip it over, it can cook. It'll make a nice golden brown, a golden yellow brown. Uh, also with the cooking oil, you, you don't pour it on there. You just put it into your napkin or on your hand and then you just kind of pat the top of your, your dough. So that's how you can do the oven bread. Um, the pan bread, which is uh, another way, it's the same dough, but you put very, very little grease into the pan. Very little, very, very little. And all you do is you keep it on one side uh, till it gets a kind of a, a golden brown and a little bit of burnt, and then you flip it to the other side. You'll see it rise a little bit, but uh, it's don't put too much oil. It's kind of a, you have to play with it. I'm not good at that one. Uh, my auntie used to make it awesome. So it's a uh, trial and error. That's pretty well what fried bread is. And everybody has their own recipes. So that's, as soon as this one's done, we'll let you know what's going on and let you know how it goes and show how a color needs to be. And then from there, uh, it, the rest of the dough you can do on your own. So we use the tongs to flip them and you can see they're kind of a golden brown on one side. So we flip them over to the other side to get to the same color. If they get too dark, that means they're um, kind of burnt, but some people like them more crispy and burnt. So it really it's your preference. Uh, after this is done, then you just go on to your next four, or how many, how big your pan is. And usually do your, your oil about half ways. So it submerges at least half of the fry bread on the bottom half, and then you flip over for the other half. Uh, and that's pretty well how you do your fry bread. You can check them, you just flip them over like that to see. That one you can see is not fully cooked yet. It'll be probably a less than a minute or so and it'll be done. And just for those who've never had it before, what we'll how do we eat on it? Butter, jam? Uh, you can put butter. Some people like it when it's hot still to put um, butter so it melts. Uh, we usually just do uh, salt. Uh, people do jam, peanut butter, you can make a sandwich. You can make a burger. Um, also, they do bannock dogs. With bannock dogs, uh, if you're gonna use the same, same dough, and all you do is you uh, pre-boil your, your hot dogs or your wieners so that they're hot dogs. Um, you pat them down and then you put this dough around it and you submerge it into the oil. And uh, you'll see when the, um, the fry bread kind of gets golden and then they're done because they've been pre-cooked before they went into uh, to being deep fried and that's how you do your bannock dogs. Anything you wanna make with your sandwich, you can do that. Right now, people are making donuts and they put like icing sugar, and you can also do little balls of fry bread and do sugar with cinnamon. And um, this here is almost like the elephant ears too, except theirs is quite thin. Uh, they may make their dough a little different, but it's pretty well the same stuff.